uh, when Lucifer rebelled against the Most High, uh, what what he had, what he did was he instigated a multi-planet rebellion, uh, bringing the Lord's wrath of hailstones of fire against all those planets involved. Entire angelic civilizations were destroyed, and many of these angels involved but did not face his immediate judgment of imprisonment were forced into the hollow areas of their respective planets to survive. And that's why you'll find that in Mars uh, and all these planets are hollow planets. And this is where these angels survive today, and that's why we call, uh, whom we're calling uh, aliens. The Bible speaks of Lucifer's rebellion in Isaiah 14, 12 to 14. And what you'll find is this is not only a past event, but something that also happens in the future. And it's like a twofold prophecy here, one that happened in the, in the past and one's going to happen in the future. It says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which should weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. And in Ezekiel 28, it says, You were the anointed cherub that covers and had put you in the holy height of God. So Lucifer held a very high-ranking position uh, back before the rebellion. Uh, but he wasn't happy being just a, a high-ranking cherub with rule over several planets. He wanted to be the Most High God. And you will find that pre animate prehistoric civilization on this earth within his realm of dominion and rebellion. You know, most of us are led to believe that Lucifer's rebellion was a quick event that was quickly put down by the Most High God. Uh, but it didn't happen this way. The Most High has revealed to me that during the early pre adamic civilization, also known as a prehistoric civilization, it was a time of angelic attempt to create man and animals. You know, the evolutionists were not completely wrong. These things did exist at one time, and this is stuff and concepts the church ex itself refuses to accept. They just ignore it because they can't answer it. Uh, but what everybody has gone wrong, basically, is, is who created what, is basically what it comes down to. Lucifer's rebellion was when he recruited one-third of the angels to attempt to be gods with him as the leader as the Most High. In doing this, they were trying to create, perhaps, themselves. The angels, we know, are spirits, but they are, they are humanoid, and they are human-looking, and they do have bodies. Not all of them are pure ethereal spirits. Uh, the angels could never get it right. If you look at the Neanderthal, the Cro-Magnum, and other types of what we refer to as cavemen or ape men, they could never accomplish what the Most High would with Adam and Eve. And that is why the evolutionists evolutionist can't find the missing link. The link between the ape-looking creatures of prehistoric times and the humans we have today were not related because they were not created by the same hand of the Most High God. Um, they also attempted to create their own animals, and that is where we got the dinosaurs and the other odd creatures we see in mytholo mythology and folklore. The skull and bones of prehistoric man and animals had been found from this ancient time when Lucifer and his angels uh, we're trying to create their own world. Uh, and we don't know what types of animals they had to begin with, nor do we know exactly what types are in heaven now, but there were animals of some kind, and it was these beings that the angels crossbred into the mythological creatures we have heard about, such as the mermaid, the unicorn, the dinosaurs. Uh, you know, as I said before, Atlantis and Lemuria were main cities on Earth where they dwell and develop this technology and it far surpassed anything we have ever had or seen. Uh, and they weren't, weren't confined to Earth. They could travel to the other planets. And, and this New World Order uh, is nothing but this ancient planetary Old World Order revived for the last days. Planetary trade and economics was Lucifer's dominion. And he ruled from a distant planet called Rahab. And the Bible codes reveal that Lucifer had a mansion, a dwelling place in all of these planets, including Earth. But his home planet was Rahab. And this planet was located between Mars and Jupiter. And it was completely destroyed and cast out of our solar system with its inhabitants imprisoned inside of it. And we know Rahab is returning to Earth in these last days, uh, more commonly known today as Nibiru or Planet X. And, and this is when those pr imprisoned in this planet all this time will be released and allowed to come to Earth to help Lucifer subdue and conquer the Earth. Uh, this is when the Lord Judge destroyed Rahab. He allowed Lucifer and some of his angels to escape to the Earth at that time. And so Rahab was, was Lucifer's home planet, had control of Earth, had control of Mars, uh, all, probably all of the planets in our solar system at that time. There was some kind of intergalactic trade going. Uh, Lucifer was in charge of economics. He likes economics. And we're going to see some of the things that they did uh, back in prehistoric times 
as an angelic civilization, we're going to see the things that they were doing then. We're seeing it coming back now. You know, the DNA imprint of humans is 11, 22, and 33. And the angels couldn't duplicate it. Uh, it represents the 11 ribs, the 22 bones in the skull, and the 33 vertebrae of the human. And to this day, uh, these are the most significant numbers uh, for any occult group in existence. Uh, they, couldn't, they couldn't get it right then. They can't get it right now. And they certainly haven't been able to create a being that has a soul. They have not mastered a soul. They have what they have, what they've done today uh, is, is to be able to clone people. And we've seen cloning come up, and, the, and, and people want to know what these aliens have to do with all of these abductions of humans all over the earth. And that's what they've been doing is, is trying to create their own super race, trying to create man. They've been trying to create a human with a soul. And they haven't mastered it yet. And we saw their feeble attempts uh, with, the, with the cavemen, with the Cro Magnum, the ape men, all the different types of figures that we've seen in evolution uh, pictures. And, and they couldn't find the missing link. And it's because they, they can't duplicate the numbers, the 11, 22, 33. And they can't get a, get a being with a soul. And, and that's the DNA, the, the map, the blueprint of humans. Uh, and so that's what the Greys have been doing today. And they've been trying. Uh, to recreate their own race, uh, to, to create their own people, to create a human with a soul. And they've also gone into cloning, and they've also been doing crossbreeding uh, with animals. And we know uh, people have seen, uh, like at the Dulce base, and there's also another base in Texas, uh, deep under, deep under uh, they're called dumb bases, deep, deep underground military bases. And in cages, they have seen uh, different crossbreeds of animals. They've seen humans and animals crossbred together just grotesque mixtures. And I have heard that uh, I can't verify it with any kind of documentation, uh, just a source of mine that had worked with NASA and uh, was involved with the Luciferian circles and, and within the government, uh, became a born-again Christian and had to leave uh, afraid for his life and not wanted anymore, certainly because he was a Christian now. Uh, but he had told me that, that there was actually 20 space stations in our skies and that only one, two of them are known of, only one of them is publicized, and that, is, that being the joint Russian and American space station. Uh, but there's 18, 19 others that exist that no one is allowed near. And supposedly what takes space, uh, what takes place in these space stations is cloning and crossbreeding. And that's why they simply will not let anybody near them. They don't want the information out, but that's what they're doing. Uh, we know that Satan has been creating uh, an automaton army. You might want to call it the 10 million man army because it's, it's all automatons. Uh, people call them robotoids. Uh, and that's what they are. They're, they're just soulless beings uh, with, with killing on their mind. And one thing to do is kill. And that's what they're going to be doing. He's going to be using them to help conquer and control the earth. And, you know, Lord knows what else is going on these these space stations. You can only imagine them being, I've, I've heard stories of, of the half-animals he, half half and half-human hybrids and, and of course, uh, humans being kept in cages that have been abducted off this earth uh, and being kept in cages in these underground bases of these aliens. And what they use the humans for, uh, they will use the women to breed. Uh, they cannot use the men to breed. Uh, but what they'll do is, is, is they'll use the men for food. Uh, they'll use the men for body parts uh, to, try to try to create their own races or whatever. And, and so basically, uh, they can use, uh, you know, they're not going to, whatever they abduct is what they're going to use for whatever reason they're abducting it. They use the children for food. Uh, they like the way uh, the children don't have as many as addictions as adults do. And I know it gets really disgusting and, and you're just going to think I'm crazy, but this stuff is true. And it's all going to come back in the last days. These anarchy, these aliens, are carnivores that eat humans. And I have an article on my site about, uh, uh, in regards to this, to serve man and uh, some other things about them that the Lord has told me that men's hearts are just going to fail in fear when they see these anarchy roaming on the earth. You know, and this is coming. This is coming to America. This is coming to our entire world. Uh, you know, the, um, when the Most High created the earth, perhaps probably thousands of years later, after he destroyed it with hailstones of fire, uh, you know, that's when Lucifer watched. And he watched watched him create Adam and Eve 
in his own image and plant him in a garden on this earth 